Okay, we're going to show you how to do the double crochet stitch. I have a swatch here of three rows of double crochet. Um, you'll need yarn and a hook. The hook you use will depend on the type of yarn. The label will tell you. Um, you're going to begin with a slip knot. You'll um, pull through and just put it on your hook there. You can hold your um, loop in place with your index finger and then you want to loop your yarn around your pinky and then over your index finger to be able to adjust the tension easily. You're going to begin by chaining however many your pattern tells you to chain. Uh, I think we'll probably do 11 or 12 here so that we get a nice even swatch. So that's three. Remember to chain, you loop, yarn over and pull through the loop that's on your hook. This gives you your foundation. Depending on your pattern, you may need to chain uh, a couple of extra, uh, three extra spaces to account for the height of your swatch. Um, you can count by uh, checking your V's there in your chain as to how many you've got. All right. You have enough. And I'm going to, with a double crochet, three chain spaces, you're going to yarn over and you're going to go into the third space from the hook because three spaces equals a double crochet stitch. So you're going to yarn over and go into this third one, two, three chains from the hook, pull through, pull up a loop. So you should have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over again, and then pull through the second two. And that is your double crochet stitch. Now you're going to go into the yarn over and go into the next space. Make sure you're not going into the same space. If you can see some of your previous stitches, then that's the wrong spot. So pull, push through, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through the first two. Yarn over, go through the second two. And you can start seeing the Vs that are characteristic of a completed stitch. Yarn over, go into the next chain space. Pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through the next two loops. So you're yarning over three times total. One into the stitch, yarn over again. Well, actually four times, I guess. Yarn over and then yarn over. So you start with a yarn over into the stitch before you even go into the stitch. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over into the next chain, Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And you're going to work your way across your foundation chain until you get to the end. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So yeah, that's a total of four yarn overs um, for the double crochet. Yarn over, pull in to the chain. As it gets towards the end, it might be tight. You might need to use your fingers to wiggle it a little bit. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then just keep going till we reach the end. A couple more spots here. As I said, it could be a little tight, especially if you're just learning. Sometimes you people make their chains, uh, starting chains a little tight. If you relax your hands, it gets easier but you may need your nails to kind of push it through without splitting the yarn. Yarn over, pull up that third loop. Come on. There we go. Pull through two and then pull through two. Yarn over into this last chain space. Again, we got to wiggle it in there. Yarn over, bring up a loop, 
yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the second two. All right, we've got our first row. Yay! We're going to turn and count our stitches. You can see we've got each stitch is marked by a V shape. Now, if we're going to add height without losing anything, um, your pattern may ask you to chain three stitches here. One, two, three, before you start going back the other way. This gives you your height um, as you're able to move uh, across. So then you can yarn over, go into the next under both V's of the stitch, yarn over, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. The only difference here is now you're working under the V's of a completed stitch instead of working into the initial chain. So your pattern will tell you whether your, your chain three at the beginning counts as your first stitch or whether it's an additional th step you need to do for your pattern. It all depends on what you're making. So yarn over, work under the V, pull up a loop, yarn over one through two loops, and yarn over through two. And you can see it's a nice and tall stitch. Getting tangled. Working my way across here. Yarn over under the V. Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. Oddly enough, the more you relax your hands, the easier it gets, especially when you're just starting. People tend to be really tight and tense with holding the hook. All right. I'm ready to turn. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to chain three to turn here. So just pulling through to make three loops and then yarn over into the first stitch where my V's are. Yarn over, pull through two loops, pull through two loops. Back across. Once you get the repetition, it's pretty easy. But as I said, you have to check your pattern to whether your um, chain three at the turn counts as your first stitch or not. And again, it all depends on what, your, what the pattern is that you're making. Sometimes it'll count and sometimes it will not. Working my way across these last few stitches. Making sure I get under both bars of the V. Sometimes a pattern will call to just do one side over the other, but for the basic double crochet, you want to work under both sides of the V. And there we go. We have three rows of double crochet pattern.